What is going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be checking out the Army Ant Life Size Kid Boo Bust. So this is the first released piece that they have done. Here is the COA for Army Ant number 8 of 88. It does come with a plethora of accessories. So we're going to go over the good, the bad, the ugly of this life size bust and give you guys my opinion on the matter. You know, you saw the unboxing, but now we've had some time to really digest the bust and determine, you know, how good is this and so forth. Now, currently it's uh, sitting atop a 36 inch garage shelf and sitting down, I can see it good. The moment I stand up though, I'm looking at his forehead. So this is a piece that you're going to want to display high up, ideally as high as that, you know, like, and this is about nearly six feet tall, you know, like if you want to see it standing, you know, like right there, it's okay. You know, like it's definitely better than obviously lower shelf, which I have had it, uh, you know, and I'll show some photos and so forth, but, uh, you know, this is definitely a bust that you're going to want to display up high. For me, a bust, you need to be able to see its eyes. If you can't see the eyes, then that's a big problem for me. Luckily, Clickler doesn't have any eyes. But yeah, for Boo, we're going to go ahead and sit like this. We can actually see the bust and everything. So let's talk about all the pros first of the bust. So uh, first off, I like all the accessories. You get this little wireless you know, triple A battery connector with a remote to go ahead and turn this light up on. So with the remote, you do get three different color options. Right now it's actually uh, changing between the three different colors. You got pink, sort of like a, you know, white, and then whatever this color is right there. Not sure what it is, but then you can also go just pink and just white. So I like the fact you get a remote with the wireless option. You can also just plug it in USB-C and it'll work. But I like that little accessory. Now you get this coin seal way, which I do really like. You also get two DBZ logos. Uh, the DBZ logos do have, I do have some issues with those. I also do like the fact they are magnetic. So if you don't want to display a logo, you don't have to. I think that is really nifty and I like that design. Uh, so, you know, there's that. The base reminds me of Sume base in terms of a glossy to like non-glossy middle, although it's switched on Sume where this part's glossy, this isn't. This part is obviously a copycat of a KD bust. In general, the whole base is a copycat of KD. Uh, they just applied a slight different variation. So when you come to Boo himself, this is a half torso bust. So it is quite a big bust. Even though Kid Boo is, you know, labeled as four foot nine, this bust is over 33 inches tall. So it is quite big. Now, when I look at it, the body itself looks to be about accurate. It's the head and the arms to me that feel very overscaled. And maybe that's just Boo because he's a creature. But when I display this next to KD Goku, KD Vegeta, which I'll show you a picture of, it definitely feels quite a bit overscaled. So it's a pretty simple bust. You know, you have this, which we'll talk about, you know, the gold Majin symbol, you know, all the pink with the little black dots, the key ball and the head. There is a pretty nasty seam line here on the head, you know, especially like from the side. From the front, you can't see it due to the head angle. And maybe that's why they angled it like that. But from the side, it definitely has a really nasty seam line. All these black parts are very glossy, which... I don't know if that's accurate or not. I've never seen a boo with glossy black parts. It kind of makes sense if it's his innards, they would be glossy. Uh, so I don't mind that. Now, I do think it has good likeness to boo. I mean, boo's not a hard character to replicate. So it does have good likeness. The overall uh, pink is decent, but it's definitely a downgrade from the prototype. The prototype had a very vibrant pink, which I will show you guys, uh, but this is definitely not as vibrant. So I think it was, you know, a little bit deceiving, uh, you know, getting the, you know, if you saw the prototype and then this is what you'd got, you, you know, you kind of feel like, wait, what? This doesn't look like that. 
Now, which unfortunately that happens quite a bit in the statue world, you know, production to prototype. There's generally quite a bit of a quality or paint out difference. So this one had two noticeable differences for me. Although I will say the proto had a seam line right here, which they did fix, which is great. But the general pink is definitely a lot less vibrant, uh, which, you know, I, of course, vibrant in general for DBZ does work better. Uh, the second, uh, which is a pretty major downgrade for me, is this key ball. Uh, we'll show you the prototype, but this key ball looks very plasticky in my opinion. You know, you can see where it pegs in right there. The way you have to turn the light up on is you actually use a magnet. So this has a magnet and you could just go like this. You know, the light up is pretty weak, you know, and of course you can see it right there. That's how it is. Uh, it also just rests basically on the hand. There's a tiny thing that kind of holds it, but it feels extremely fragile. If I was to slightly bump into it, this definitely is falling and breaking. So I, I feel like it's very fragile and easily will fall off. So you have to be very careful with that key ball. Don't move the bust with that on it. You take that off. Mine did arrive with one of these things basically came unglued. I believe it was that one. So I just inserted it in and the force is enough to hold it. But this is definitely a downgrade in my opinion from the prototype. All right, so I wanted to show you guys uh, some comparisons. Here it is next to Ryubu. Now Ryubu definitely has a lot more shading on it, a different color pink. I, I actually do prefer the pink on this versus Ryu, but it's kind of crazy that Ryu has quite a bit more shading, also a substantially better key ball. There it is next to the KD bus. As you can see, it's clearly overscaled. It does not match KD, uh, you know, which for me is a you know pretty disappointing. I like to have my bus, you know, scaled correctly. Obviously you cannot display this with a KD bust. It looks out of place. It, you know, look definitely looks like a imitation KD. Like obviously they tried to copy the base and so forth, uh, but it's definitely overscaled. This would go better with an MRC versus a KD bust. You know, and there it is. So yeah, it's definitely uh, not good to go with KDs. So yeah. So here's what I'll say regarding the bus. You know, it's their first bust. There's obviously a lot of room for improvement for this company. They've announced they're gonna be making, you know, 20 plus more bus. We have seen Gogeta, Vegito that were leaked. Frankly, they look terrible. I was not impressed at all. Boo is a very simple character to do. I don't think it's perfect by any means. To me, it is kind of like a poor man's imitation of a KD bust. You know, like it's definitely cheaper, no doubt, and it does show. You know, the base is like an imitation KD, but not as good. There's several reasons for that. One, look how thick this logo is. I hate how thick this is. You know, you compare it to a KD logo, which, you know, seamlessly goes on the base. This is extremely thick and I don't like that. I also think the LED bar is too big and it's not as bright as KD. You know, the actual bust itself, I mean, there's no textures. Uh, it does have this really weird effect right here. Kind of looks like the, the galaxy, you know, like the stars when you look in the sky. And it's all over the black, and I don't think that's accurate because I've never seen that on a boo. It doesn't look like that in the anime. But for some reason, they decided to do that. I don't know if that's to, like, in essence, try to add detail, but I'm not a fan of that. I think it looks weird, and I don't know why they did that. Uh, you know, and I got this bus because I wanted to see, do I want to go down the bust rabbit hole? You know, I tried it down low. I didn't like it. It, I couldn't see it. I literally... That was my angle, and I'm like, yeah, that looks horrible. You know, this is a bus that needs to be displayed, frankly, up here. KD is acceptable right here. Like, I can still see their eyes when standing. When I sit down, you know, I have much better angles. You know, it's like, boom, perfect. Boom, perfect. When I got KD, Vegeta, and Goku, yeah, I thought they were a little small, like Vegeta, you know, but I was very impressed with them. This Boo... It is, you know, decent. It's, it's not amazing. I'm not like way impressed by any means. You know, it's overscaled. 
there's no you know extreme detail the eyes are decal you know there's the glossy black the key ball looks very plasticky and the logos are ugly you know it's definitely no kd bus it's no kd replacement you know and for me i'm all about extreme detail you know i've been in the collecting game for 10 plus years i don't like having subpar products i don't you know like have like I, when i first got in yeah i, I got bought some recasts about garbage defunct dbz statues and i've sold and refined my collection for 10 plus years trying to make it the best collection in the world you know i have bus like clicker which is an absolute grail silicone incredible boo is not a bust for me unfortunately uh it is overscaled it's it feels like a blown up you know like one four statue it doesn't have any extra detail that makes it you know the reason you buy a bust is you want to have that character not only in a larger format, but also more detail. You know, that's the reason, you know, like that clicker works so good. When on my old one fourth clicker, you know, it wasn't real hair, wasn't silicone with silicone teeth, silicone tongue, real shirt, you know. You want your bust to be much more detailed than your one fourth. You know, even like look at Scorpion versus the one fourth. There's a substantial quality difference between the two. Any of my silicones are substantially better. Now, the KD bust, you can only do so much with a Dragon Ball Z bust. You know, because they can't be done in silicone, you can't do real hair. There's only so much you can do. What you can do to make it work really well, you know, like for KD, they added veins, skin texture, really refined texture on the outfit with really good shading, very good likeness, a very classy look. You know, Vegeta has really good paint app, very fine texture work, you know, really nice hair with, you know, like the reason a bus works so good with KD is because of the immaculate paint app, the really good textures, because KD has been known for textures. So that's why a KD bus works so damn good for bus. You know, like their Vegito, Gogeta look incredible. Their Gohan looked incredible and I kind of regret not getting it, but then I don't, but it worked really good. When I look at this boo, you know, it's the only boo bus in the market. So if you want a boo bus, obviously it's your only choice for now until KD decides to do one or another company. But it really just kind of is a blown up version of that with a slightly more, you know, better paint job, like in terms of the pink color. It's nothing additional in detail. Now, I don't know, could you do something with boo that makes it extra detailed? Would you want to have some sort of skin texture here? Probably not. Maybe Boo just shouldn't be in life size, but maybe he should. But, there, you know, it's like, there's just not a lot of detail overall in the piece. You know, it's like, there's no textures. It's decal for eyes. Like, it looks like just a sticker. This is obviously like a plastic ball. You know, got this weird galaxy look and all the black parts. So there's just nothing that screams extreme detail for me. This bus runs about $850. You know, KD bus is generally about $1,200. For me, I'm always about quality, so I'd much rather spend that extra money and just buy a KD bus, which you know you're going to be super satisfied with. So that's my two cents on the you know Army Ant life-size Kid Boo. They have a lot of other bus in the future. We'll see how good they are. I know the Gogeta Vegito they've shown so far, I wasn't impressed at all. The likeness was not good. The textures were bad. But they said they're going to refine that. So they may, you know, have a much, uh, you know, better lineup in the future. It'll be real interesting to see, like, their perfect sell and, you know, some of their other bus out there. There's definitely a lot in the works. So definitely keep an eye out for them. You know, for me personally, I'm all about the best of the best, which for me right now is KD Collectibles. So if I ever go down the bus route, it's going to be KD only for me because I want them to match. And I want the highest possible quality and detail, you know, so... Yeah, definitely KD is my bus preference for sure. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below of this Army Ant Boo. I'd like to thank Kyle Nation for getting this out to me. They're the best in the business when it comes to DBZ Retailer. Link in the description below. So be sure to check them out. They got me this Boo Bust. And I have a lot of other pre-orders with them. So love Kyle Nation. So huge shout out to them. Uh, and if you did want to get any other army amp bus from them, you know, Kyle Nation will, will be your go-to for them. You know, they sell all DBZ.
brands. So there you have it, though, folks. Let me know what you think. Overall, I'd probably rate this a solid six out of 10, you know, for what it is. You know, it's a cheap bus. It's not super pricey, but I'd rather just spend the extra money to get a, you know, KD bus from buying more DBZ. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.